right here by the tuna. That's that's a much better angle. That's much better. Much more much more flashy. I'm doing a live. So I'm on the uh, Yaffa Brands booth um, and I'm just uh, playing with some of their tools. They have some really wonderful uh, tools and materials. I'm just going to run around a little bit to show you some of the things that they... These are beautiful. That's really, really interesting. Really amazing writing instruments. This is a great pencil. Look at that. How funky is that? Oh, whoa. I love these. Wow, look at this. Oh, these are super, really, really interesting tools and an amazing array of uh, Monteverde inks, which I'll show you in a second. And look, they have this, this uh, pen, fountain pen flush, which obviously helps to keep your pens clean. Um, so they have little bottles and they have big bottles and cartridges. And uh, obviously, you know, the, um, some amazing writing, writing tools. And they brought these uh, these new brush brush pens with uh, a brush pen tip uh, and uh, a broad e oh, so sorry a brush brush pen tip and a broad edge nib tip and of course some some really stunning fountain pens. And Alex is here Hello. from Hedgehog Hollow. So you'll have to have a look at them. A uh, little bit of a crossover with the crafting industry and writing and, um, and brush lettering and calligraphy. So just have a quick look at some of the stuff they do and obviously check out the Team Spellbinder stuff as well. Um, so I, I'm gonna hand the phone over so that I can actually do some writing. So if you, if you come over here. So we're going to start off with the, the calligraphy brush pen and uh, I'm going to choose a really butch colour. <laughs> really masculine colour. And they have a really, I mean, the colors are really beautiful. There's some really beautiful colors here. So this uh, script, this hand, uh, this script is called Textualis Quadrata. So I'm doing a year-long uh, class on text on the Gothic hands in in Dallas. And um, but what I really want to talk to you about is this this Monza pen. So this is their calligraphy pen set, which is actually really really beautiful. It's a really good set. And so I've taken the larger pen, which is the two. And you know, obviously with a broad edge nib, we always start off by trying to figure out what the relationship of the, the writing is based on, uh, 
The relationship of the writing is based on the thickness of the nib. Now, one of the great things about these pens is you can also use them as a dip nib. I'm gonna get some, uh, some green. I actually put some purple in here, but I think some of these dip this into a brown color. So I just want to flush the brown out because I really want the purple. Is around. Because you know the joy of working with converters is you, you just want to be really gentle with them, otherwise you're going to end up with ink all over your hands. Oh hello! I was following you. I was, I was coming, I was I tried I, I I was hunting for you earlier on today. So where is this girl? <laughs> Oh, it's lovely to meet you. I'm really glad that you're here. So I'm going to do a few things here. First is, say hello to Louise. Oh, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you for, thank you for coming by. Uh, so I have the, this beautiful, let me just close this because you know, <laughs> as, as the yeah. tired I get, the easier it is to knock bottles of ink over. Um, so this is the Monteverde, um, this is the Purple Rain Ink. So I'm just, you know, V E R E E. So what I've done is I've just written using the ink uh, very, very quickly because I wanted to show you something that's really beautiful with this pen. Now, this pen is, the nib is designed in a really interesting way. You have the, the tip of the nib, and then you have a little nick in the shoulder, and then you have the nib doing that. And of course, the underside of the nib is smoothened off, so you don't have an iridium tip or a ball on the tip. Now, I was really impressed when I wrote with this pen this morning. Let me put the, I put the cap on because A, you don't want the cap to lose, but B, you know, it gives a little bit of counterbalance. Let's just take this off. And uh, I'm writing on a Rodia pad. So if you, rest the nib on the page you know some of you put your nibs down and you press if you rest the nib on the page and you just jiggle it back and forth i'm not doing this i'm just jiggling back and forth not pressing you get that line yeah you get that line so it's not the width that you're seeing which is on the shoulder but that gives it a really interesting ability because you can flatten, press, twist. And th these are great for some pressure and release letters. And some fish tailing. And of course, you can dip and blend. And it, it's really smooth. It's a really beautiful tool to write with. And you know, it's, 
one of the things that I've because I sort of played with it this morning one of the things I found really nice about the pen is that it's just the right size to do some twisting so um, italic script is generally written at 30 to 35 degrees so you get this kind of with the nib at 30 to, to, to the angle of the nib to the horizontal at, uh, so that you you get this um, narrower line heavy line on the downstroke narrow line on the upstroke you're not leaning you're just writing on the edge but in in some versions of the script you can tilt and twist and turn and release and press and you get a really great bit of movement here I mean this is this is some some super movement on the nib so I'm just going to do some capitalis actuaria which is a which is also called rustics which is a script typical of the um, Roman period, second second century. Oh, this is amazing! Wow, I'm loving this pen. Let's let's do some quadrata. So we're gonna do some tall quadrata. And so that's that's using the the Monza pen. Now I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky, cheeky and use a, a different pen, only because I want to talk about the Monteverdi inks. So I'm using a a G nib in a Desiderata Franken pen, and I want you to look at. how the ink handles Really, really beautiful flow. Wow, really, really good flow, really good ink flow.
<laughs> so I just That's did this for, for Louise, just to, as she came hunting for me. Hunting, <laughs> like a crazy person. But like, she's like, who's that crazy woman with that phone? <laughs> So that's, uh, so that's me at the National, St National Station show on the Jaffa booth. Uh, check out the Monteverdi inks. I, I was really, really impressed with them. Um, you know, all the fountain pen companies make ink and they all have very particular properties. And I'll chat there with the, with the wonderful people at the Hedgehog Hollow group as well. They all have really specific properties and these properties, it's really important to understand what the properties are um, in the fountain pen inks because they all do different things and I know lots of you might use fountain pen inks but you might use them for calligraphy so you might use them with a dip nib you might use them with um, with you know like an ecoline pen you know one of the things that um, I'm sure the Monteverdi people haven't realized is they can use their inks and dip the brush tip of the marker into it and that will feed out so you know there's a there's a ton of possibility with using different inks from different fountain pen companies you just need to take the time to understand how the inks work how they blend and how they work with other tools so don't go out and buy a ton of new products use the products that you have at home see how they work together and see how they help you to understand how the tools can really sort of interact with each other and um, and then go out and spend some money <laughs> um so one other thing to show you so I have with me because uh, a copy of the manual. Yay! <laughs> so we have the manual here. I've been showing it to people um, and getting some really, really good reactions. Well, thank you so much. So I'm just going to flip through the manual for you. Maybe you should come around on the other side. So I've done some writing at the back, which is really nice yeah so happy robin hi look huh? robin's just come on <laughs> hi robin um and so this is so uh, obviously the front cover has the hey rohan the front covers have the grid which you can go to the website uh pascribe.us and download them for free. And then we have, um, oh, you know, you, you know, I, I keep flipping through the manual, but the thing I don't really show you is the table of contents. So there's the table of contents. And you can see how much stuff is in here. Um, and we're just gonna flip through. We have a great, I have a great, great section here on tools and how they interact with each other but this is amazing because i've i'm teaching you how the paper or these papers this paper and these nibs and this ink interacts together so these work together gives you some nib anatomy and um a comparison between a straight holder and oblique holder i talk about posture placement of the paper position of your hand so just just to remind you i'm again i'm here at the national stationery show um, and then I look at whole arm movement, how it works with your different holes. Um, so I've done these three holes and of course I've also shown my hold, which is a very specific hold that I developed, which is this. And there's a page of six different ways for left-handers to write the script. Um, and then there's, there's tons of, of exercises and drills and supporting materials on the net on, on the website um comparisons with the with so this is this is essentially what a, a double page spread looks like so you have uh, a majuscule a ductus to show you the order of the strokes a, a large letter with bits of information around it 
the angular confinement showing you how big all the shapes are uh, writing it in a different way the elliptical confinement continuous movement variable velocity how the letter a the roman capital a relates to the copper plate a and variations of the letter and uh, so i have this for every um every letter and then we have the letters and their groups variations so the variations are really cool um, and then we have why variations exist and how they exist and how to produce them and um, so something as simple as why a V changes in depth and then more exercises anatomy of the minuscule we have an anatomy of the majuscule these are all on the website um, then we have the minuscules which follow the same sort of pattern you have lots of beautiful variations words written out so that you can see how problematic they are when you write them out and then I've given you a whole list of practice words including all the gods of writing which I think would be great for everybody to know and then numbers ranging non-ranging continuous historical numbers punctuation diacritical marks ordinal indicators for first second and third and Roman numerals a new way to see the structure of the script for both the majuscules and the minuscules there are guidelines on the website that help you with this so please go to the guidelines and download them and I have two four pages on fl on flourishing which introduces you to some new techniques of flourishing lots of ligatures ampersands double letters more ampersands historical shapes for mr. mrs. Esquire um, and then I also introduce you to my brush copper plate so those of you who are coming to Iampath, this is what we're going to work on, this brush copper plate. There's some flourishing. And then we have uh, a Sphinx of Black Quartz, Judge My Vow, written by 26 people. Uh, oh yeah, and there's a, a bit on the monograms at the bottom of uh, one of the pages. And a really complex glossary. So th there's a lot of information in the manual. Uh, just click on the link in the bio and... Um, if you've already ordered pre-ordered and um, that's no problem just go and download the grids um, but you know do order through the website I know some of your countries are not on that link and um, but we're working hard to figure out that information because distribution to lots of countries are slightly problematic and um, but just send an email and we will we'll sort this out for you so thank you very much have a good day bye bye thank you hedgehogs <laughs>